Maybe we should stop teaching Shakespeare as literature. That's like the most surreal experience that I've ever been a part of. Kids really struggle with it. They struggle to read it, they struggle to comprehend it, they struggle to care about it. Shakespeare is a complicated man. I'm here and someone knows I'm here. Someone knew who I was here 500 years ago. Honestly, too many kids just hate it. What is a traitor? Yeah. Why do you think they're calling you a traitor? I lost my mind and I went to my mom and was like, I'm going to do this. I did Fall Fest, that makes me happy because I did it. Maybe we should approach Shakespeare on his own terms, plays to be played, and think them, and act them, and feel them, and scream them, and cry them, and... And that is when kids catch on fire. I'm so glad that you were with us and that you could see this amazing film. Um, we at Trauma Research Foundation are so full of gratitude and delighted that we can be supporting this important program. And um, we're very lucky to have Kevin Coleman and Patrick Toole with us who made the film and um, people from our audience who who want to bring in their questions and comments too. Um, I myself was wiping my tears away from my eyes for most of the film because it's just uh, so moving. Um, so welcome, Kevin. Welcome, Patrick. Bessel, do you want to say anything too? It's just great. I'm really curious what the audience will say. Yeah. 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 And, and we have team members and audience members here with us too, to just share their comments. But um, right off the bat, I just want to say, Kevin, uh, it's kind of amazing that we have you for this half hour of discussion, because I know that you are in the thick of it right now, and you have been for weeks. We've been watching the the weeks in the film, and I every time I thought about it, I thought, oh my gosh, we're, we're at week nine, and you're here, and it's this weekend, and you're making time to be with our audience now, so thank you. It's, it's so my pleasure to be here, Alicia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. And I, I like Bessel. I'm, I'm really excited to hear what people's reaction to it is. And yes, there's a lot, you know, next door and downstairs is the theater and there's a lot of activity tonight. And then, uh, you know, in my free time, I'm, I'm working on the uh, cherry orchard at the psychiatric hospital in Stockbridge. So that's coming up in like a few weeks. So Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> so so can I ask, I, I know that this program has been going on for decades now and and potentially thousands of kids have gone through the program in that amount of time and that you started with two high schools and in the play in the movie it says 10 high schools, but I thought I heard you say it's 11 high schools this year. Is that right? This year, for the first time, we've we have uh, a high school that I've been trying to get into the festival for almost thirty years. Wow! Kids, Kidsfield High School has joined us. We have a wonderful, wonderful drama teacher there that said, "You know, we have to be in the festival." So she found a way to join us. So now we have eleven schools. So, and and to see <laughs> and to see them who have never been in the festival before, but they'd heard about it, come to, you know, the common classes or come to the theater, their, their eyes are as, as, are just huge, as big as saucers as they're walking in. And the other schools have made them feel so welcome. Oh, it's that's just fantastic. been heartwarming to see the response from the other schools because they know that they're so nervous and they've never done this before. So they just, they were just so welcoming. I'm really proud of that response. Wow, wow. And and Patrick, how did you meet Kevin? How did he wrangle you into this big <laughs> Yes, uh, uh, Kevin and I have known each other for like maybe uh, five or six years. I actually trained under him um, 
as an actor um, at Shakespeare and Company for their training program. Oh. Um, and he directed me in a couple of plays. Um, and um, and uh, one year, um, I think he saw a film I made that was screening somewhere around and you were looking for, you've been trying to make this, Kevin, you've been trying to make this documentary for a number of years, but, um, but the pieces never quite came together. And you approached me and said, um, and said, um, this is what I want to make. We need to make the festival, um, like a film version of the festival, um, to get out there into every school in the country. Um, and I said, well, okay. So, little bit of pressure but the, like yeah sure we, we could give it a we could take a crack at it um and so he gave me a budget um they bought me a camera <laughs> they bought me a new camera and um and i i uh, started filming that year of the festival i think i had about a week's notice before the <laughs> before the um tra director training began um but that that's all i needed and and i just came in and started filming um, everything I could, um, there was, there was an, I like, I wasn't sure as a filmmaker, how to tell this story. Like, do you follow a certain, like a couple of kids and, and tell their stories and tell the broader story of the festival through those individual kids journeys. Um, and Kevin kind of said early on, no, don't do that. This, this is a, this is bigger than that. Um, you know, film, get the whole picture. Um, and, and so I just went to every school and filmed as much as I could and filmed interviews with as many kids who were willing to be interviewed and then filmed all the Shakespeare and company staff, interviewed all the Shakespeare and company staff um, and and conducted interviews often with Kevin in the room, um, giving questions. And um, every single I, I just want to say that every single time I showed up to a rehearsal at any of the schools, something really cool was happening so it, it made my job as a filmmaker really easy I would I just pointed the camera in the direction of the cool stuff happening and before we knew it I had hundreds of I had many ter several terabytes of um of of footage to choose from um to you know mm -hmm. compose this film and we had a lot of a lot of options for how the film could be structured um and then that that began a uh, several year process of editing. Wow. And, and so this was all done with one camera. Uh, mostly, um, there was, there's archival footage that we use from, uh, many years ago, a film by other, other people. Um, there was a couple other filmmakers who shot, uh, footage, um, in previous years and a, a year previous, there was a filmmaker who shot a lot of, a lot of really great footage that I used quite a bit in the film. Um, I'd say about 80% of the film I, I, I filmed myself. Um, and then we had, we hired a couple of videographers um, to, to shoot footage as well as our local um, public access TV station, CTSB, um, big shout out to them. They filmed the festival, the, the festival with multiple cameras every single year. And they do a really professional, beautiful job and they have it all archived. So wow. I, I had all those plays, all the footage for those plays um, usable. So I should I should not say I filmed 80 percent of it because we use a lot of that footage in the film, probably about maybe 60 percent of it. Wow. But it's still an extraordinary so piece of work. Do you think it's part of the culture of the high schools now uh, since it's been held for a long time? Uh, is it part of what kids think that's going to happen this year? Yeah. Yeah, Kevin. Is it is it part of is it part of the culture of the yeah, high schools? Yeah, so is it embedded now in the in the high schools? Like yes, <laughs> yes. You know, it's always it it's it's always a question of budgets. It's yeah. it's always that, and the arts are the oftentimes the first thing that get eliminated, and no. you know you couldn't make a decision more foolish than that right. because that's. That's where the kids want to come to school. That's where they make their deepest connection. That's where they have their deepest education and learning. Right. Uh, and then and motivation. You, know, you yeah. have some wonderful principals 
right. that will say, I mean, that acknowledge kids are coming, school choice, they're coming to my school because we have the fall festival. A principal right. will say, you know, I'll cut the football program before I cut the <laughs> Shakespeare program because it, it includes kids across the spectrum in the school. Of course, the athletes, of course, the social, of course, the pop, of course, the of course, the disenfranchised, of course, the timid. It includes all of them. They all find a place to be in it. And like the principal had said, you know, you got in the fight. You need to go do Shakespeare. Wow. That's 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 uh, that's an example of it is in the culture of the school. Um, the <laughs> Who could not be persuaded by this? The custodians have yeah. a golf tournament every summer, and it's just for custodians and the festival directors. Oh, wow. It's in the culture of the county. Yeah. <laughs> I heard once that somebody said that, that an anthropologist should come and study the culture of the fall festival, because like Kevin was saying, there's a new school joining this year, and they are immediately um, welcomed into it. Like it, it, it it's so non-competitive. And I think, you know, maybe the sneaker, me the, the secret message of this film is art shouldn't be a competition um, because that, that creates community in such a profound and um, uh, necessary way. Um, because it's not a competition, we're all supporting, we're all working with each other. Um, that that bleeds over into the kids' other uh, the kids' lives in school in other ways. No, I was I was thinking about how um, when people are are holding a lot of distress, their access to their ability to think clearly is diminished. And so there's a way that these kids coming into being able to have language for their self-experience and being witnessed and having their emotional experience have a safe container makes them able to be more present for other learning as well. Um, and I, I wonder, I wonder how if if that uh, Harvard program that studied them was able to note anything like that because I mean it it seemed like there are actually some kids who came from really distressful situations who would not have made it through what they were living through or would not have made it through as well as they did. That one That's really very much what I would like us to study now, huh? that uh, when kids are not self-conscious and not frightened and not uptight, they can learn and they can make connections. And that should be visible in terms of involvement in other programs and with each other and in grades and uh, people having hope, people ha having aspirations. Yeah. Nobody knew they could act Shakespeare before they came to the program. And now they discover, wow, I could do it. And that must be an enormous experience to for self-confidence and exploration. Huh? Yeah, we, we just had this, this play-based healing summit that you were part of, Kevin. And, and one of the phrases that came to us was safe enough to play is safe enough to learn. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing that uh, it's, it's, we're seeing that multiplied many times over with kids now this year coming out of the pandemic right. and the, they're, they're, they're locked up. Uh, I mean, they're really tightly held. And mm -hmm. for many of them, I mean, I, I see that and I see kids that, that uh, they, they've really pulled back and they don't participate in extracurriculars at all. They do the minimum now. Mm -hmm. They've really pulled back into themselves. And gradually, this year, kind of for the, f more than ever before, we see kids that come out to be in the festival initially, but then as we go along down the in the weeks into it, more kids start joining us and asking, can can they be in it? Can they be in it as well? We have kids running, running the light booth and the sound booth 
that are from a different school to be in this right. this school's festival. Wow. <laughs> and wow. it's so wonderful of the you know school administration saying, sure, that kid can come to our school and be and be in our production. Other That's schools so don't have the festival. That's astonishing. So so it's been a long time coming for Pittsfield, kind of like the 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 lost school finally being embraced into the fold because Pittsfield is in the heart of the Berkshires. I know the biggest, the biggest city there here. Yeah. yeah so, the, so, and so and the most troubled, troubled city also. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it's really great, great that you got into it. Yeah. So, so how many kids are in the Pittsfield program and, and what play are they doing this year? There's uh, I think it started out as 12. And now there's over 20 and they're doing 12th night. Oh, wow. Wow. And we, we didn't, uh, you know, we don't go in with a play in mind. We go in and play with the kids for a week. We just play games, like it said in the, in the yeah, film. Yeah. And then once we get a sense of the students, then we kind of introduce uh, little s snippets of text from different plays and see what they respond to. And these kids were desperate to do a comedy. Oh, really? Oh, other oh, wow. schools were desperate to do Macbeth. It's just, wow, it's wow. just so depends on the, the school at the time and the, uh -huh. and the you know, the, the culture around the school. And we're happy to do whatever we think would be the best fit this year for this school. But I'm so glad that more kids started joining as we went along. That's that, amazing. That's been different. This year. So so and and so even though you have a nine week program, if if you're at week six, it's still okay for kids to come into the program. Yeah, of course. Wow, wow. of course. No, well, not everybody would say of course, but that's yeah, crazy just, to say. That. How how do you do that yes. and still keep the container? How does how does that work? Uh, it it. It works because the other kids welcome them. Mm. It works because the other kids look for a place for them. It works because they say, well, uh, you know, I think we need another witch in this scene. <laughs> because we want to say, when shall we seven meet again? <laughs> wow, wow. But isn't that, isn't that wonderful? That mentality of, of you know, collaborating, working together, creating together, it really, it starts seeping into their, their nervous system. And, mm. it, and they prefer that model so much more than the competitive model. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. They prefer it so much more. When we do an evaluation at the end, one of the questions we ask, and we have a two page, you know, getting numerical data, one of the questions we ask is how how important is this to you that, that it's not a competition, you know, one to five, least important, most important, it's not, a, they cross out five and they write in 500, 5,000. Wow. Oh. wow, wow. It's, it's we, well, not to be judged is great. Right. Educators, we right. need to be paying attention yeah. to this. Yeah. They're screaming at us the things that we need to know and to honor. And, and and to see how solidly safe they are with each other is extraordinary. They're, I, I mean, I remember there were times in high school where it felt mean. It yeah. felt it felt like every walk down the hall was a judgment. and and to see not only how accepting they are, but how, kind and compassionate and supportive they are with each other is yeah. just so moving um, i think it's the nature of adolescence to be scared yeah you know adolescence is a scary time of your life a very scary time of your life and you don't know where you're going you don't know who you are and then you're having fun with other people and you feel expanded it's it's magnificent huh um, I'm curious what people have to say. But in, in let, let me just yeah. move this so that yeah. I can find some of the 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 chat questions. Unfortunately, I think I um 
Okay, here we go. Here's the Google Doc. And the questions are, okay, the comments I have is, one is, I can't stop crying while watching this. And and I felt that way too. I was just yeah. wiping, I, I had to grab Kleenex to, <laughs> to wipe away my tears. Because the, especially um, the... The man who, who I guess he's a director now, he talked about his troubled family and, and how he played uh, King Lear. He played, he played Lear. King Lear. Cool. His story was just cut wrenching. And to see the scream that he talked about, the fact that you documented that and could see how he used his feelings, how he was able to stay present. You know, they talk about a window of tolerance where you're able to stay present in the moment with your most uncomfortable feelings. And, and that's a powerful thing that, that therapists work very hard to bring the people they work with to a feeling of, I can hold this reality. I've got this feeling. I can be present with it, not run away from it, not explode at somebody, not shut down, but to feel it fully and express it in a way that's not destructive to myself or anyone else was such an incredible, I'm just, I get teary just thinking about it because that's, that's so much work to get to that place and you brought him there and held him there so safely. Let's see what else um, people said. And what, what else did people say? Um, how can I share this film with educators? Big question, good, good important question. question. Good question. Um, I hope we're doing that now, but but what's your plan, Kevin? You made this for a reason. What's well, distribution plan? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, there's there's like three separate plans going forward. One, and and the Trauma Research Foundation has been so helpful with us uh, to make this, uh, to create a website of resources for teachers that can come to us and say, how do I do this? How do I do this? You do check-in, but what's the secret of check-in? What's the mm. secret of, you know, feeding in the script? What, why do I, how can I do common classes or air broadswords? How can I do? So we're going to have a, a website of resources for how to do these things. And then a whole library of cut Shakespeare scripts. So they don't have to spend two weeks cutting Hamlet down to 90 minutes and uh -huh. three hours. We have those resources for them. So that's even one. Even better than the Abit Shakespeare? Pardon? Even better than the, than the Abit Shakespeare? The famous play of where all the movie and all the plays get combined. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. The other, another plan is to, I, I, I so, I, we haven't figured it out yet, but we have a 27 uh, minute version of this this documentary, uh, Patrick has cut it down to a 27, a five minute, a two minute and a one minute, like trailer, you know, doc. I wanna get it in every every school in the country. Uh, we, we have an embarrassment of riches here. I mean, we have 40 years of costumes. We have an armory that we could start a medieval war. No, no other schools have that, but that's not important. What's important is, is the way of working, the operating system, the asking questions, the, the, the celebrating each other, the, it, it, that it's not a competition. The operating system is the model that I want to get, ex I want every school in the country to be exposed to. I want students to watch the film and say, oh, those kids look like me. Can we do this? Mm. They look like having a lot of fun Can yeah we do this and i i want to change the way i want to change the way shakespeare is taught in every school in the country yes yes as far as how to get the film out there um we're working on it uh that's about all i can say and i um if this person uh wants to wants to 
see the film, uh, I'm sure uh, wants to have the film to show it to somebody or to show it to a classroom. I'm sure we could we could provide that. Um, we're we're just we're we're figuring we we literally this is our first screening of the final version of the film. Um, wow, what an honor! What an honor! Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having and, us. Um, so we have a couple thousand people at least signed up for this. So. So I hope that they will share. We're, we're going to put the word out as much as we can for you guys. Um, I, I'd love to hear more about how you're going to train all the directors who are going to be in all the schools. Do you have relationships with other theaters? That that, And, and, and where do you expect to go first? The oldest, actually. Yeah. yeah. We, there's in... Uh, in the world, there's a Shakespeare Theater Association, and it's Shakespeare companies from all over the world, and they meet once a year. And I showed a bit of this film at the last conference, and all of them wanted copies of the film to show to their board of directors, to show to their teaching artists, to show to the schools that they're already working in. So we, that's one resource. Uh, Marsha Norman, the playwright who wrote yeah, Night yeah. Mother, yeah. And Marsha Norman said, I want it. I'm, you know, I'm deeply involved in the National Drama Guild and I want to use their resources to get it into every state in the country. So Great. there's we have some inroads. Fantastic. It, it's so exciting. And then let me just give you a couple more questions from our audience. Um, oh, Okay, what a huge undertaking. How many alum make it back each year for the Fall Fest? That's a good question because you've had thousands of people go through. How many people come back and help you with this or or come back for any part of it? I'd say about half of the directors are alums. Ah. Like the, it's, it's, it's staggering how many kids uh, uh, I, I've seen uh, just as an observer. Kevin? Uh, I would say during festival week, uh, past directors, past student participants in the festival, they, you know, they they leave college early <laughs> to come back <laughs> this weekend for their Thanksgiving break to yeah. help with the festival. So we get between 30 and 40 people that show up just to like lend a hand. Wow. Wow. It's and um I know that Fall Fest was the prototype for Shakespeare in the courts, that 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 principal who became a judge brought it I to the that. juvenile court system. And Bessel and I saw one of those productions. And it, for me, it was incredibly moving. They they seemed so young and so vulnerable in a way. And and Bessel said, "Gee, they're they're not they're not ready for no, Broadway." I, I saw it. Actually, I did a podcast in Korea yesterday on the National Korean, and I showed the movie. I showed part of the movie. Yeah, and I showed it in Holland uh, last month. So, yeah, before too long, you'll be totally overemployed or underemployed. Whatever, there will be people all over the world who want to do this. Like, <laughs> but but just what a triumphant yeah. thing for yeah. those kids yeah. to get through. The play. I, yeah. It makes it okay to have fun. And fun is not part of any curriculum. Joy is not part of any curriculum. Connection is not part of any curriculum. That's This is so critical. This is a life skill. You're teaching kids the most essential life skill is to collaborate, to cooperate, to be in tune with other people. But what is more important to learn than that, you know? Yeah, to have a voice and know that that you're and contributing. To be all right to have your feelings and that you have a whole range of feelings. And you really, that's part of what I love about it is that people can be proud and they can be angry and they can be distressed and it's all okay. It's all part of who you are. And when you're a teenager, it, that never feels okay. And so great that you can really say it all and say, it's okay. We all feel this way. As a teenager, you usually feel nobody else in the world feels this way. And there you go like, Hey, everybody else feels uptight and frightened and self-conscious and all that stuff. It's just great. With the with the with the court kids, uh, there's there's a, 
you know, there's, I could talk for like three hours about that, but oh, I, I want to mention that there, there is a moment in their journey uh, where they discover that being vulnerable is survivable. Yes. And not just survivable, but being vulnerable is there's something, there's something, I, I want to say, it's not quite pleasurable, but there's something that they hunger for, that they're it's hungry for. Humanity. It's for what it, connects you. To be, to be able to be vulnerable. And it, it changes everything. The, the courts program, Shakespeare, doing Shakespeare with those kids, as I will say, as the judge used to say, this, it doesn't fix them. This doesn't fix them. But what happens over the course of it is change happens and they start seeing themselves differently and what they see they like yeah and that's a new experience for them and it just it it rocks their world it change happens but it doesn't fix them see the other thing that you show people is that your vulnerability is your way of connecting with other people and that is so critical because as long as you Keep it in, you don't make connections. You don't really connect with other people. And that, I think, is really the core of the beauty of your program, is only by being vulnerable do you get close to other people. You know? Yeah. 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 It's great. Do you want another question? Yeah, let's see what else they prepare. Um uh, how do students' families, I'm just going to read a bunch. How do students' families typically react to the change yeah, in their question. kids? Yep. How do you handle requests from other high schools that want to start something similar in their schools? And from a viewer in India, how can this program be mirrored in other schools, specifically in other countries? Recently, I was told how theater could be beneficial for me, um, and I should do it, but I didn't understand how it could happen help me after seeing this film i have an answer um and one last question what a profound sense of belonging that's generated yep. that is what makes this so pivotal for each youth idea submit the film to teachers conferences associations and unions we, okay. we can do that yeah. okay good idea <laughs> thank yeah. you uh yeah. What I, I will, uh, a, a couple things I'll, I'll, I'll say, uh, when parents, we, we've done it now so many years that parents uh, who did the festival when they were in high school, now their children are in the festival. Wow. And wow. the parents come to the parent meetings we have when we talk about the project and they check in and they start weeping about their experience and how much this meant to them. And their children see them weeping about their experience. And it, it like the whole atmosphere becomes so much sweeter and um, just really humane. It's just, uh, in terms of the kids, sometimes, oftentimes the kids who do poorly in school because of the, they, their confidence builds up as they wrestle this really difficult material and they, they do a lot, they're a lot more successful. And for kids who's the most important thing in their lives is like ranking first or getting the A, they, they, that stops being the most important thing in their lives. So sometimes their grades go down because <laughs> they stop, they stop caring about wanting to be, you know, ranking number one it, it they found something else that's more meaningful to them so there was that there was that one kid in the film who says it's not like i'm gonna fail fall fest he's one of those kids who's like an honor student he's going into going to university to study science and he, like um it was a revelation to him that like there's a reason for doing something that's other than like academic uh, academic success like yeah. like getting number one getting the highest grade there's a different reason to do something and to care about something you give give yourself to it 
So I I just got the cue that our time is up, but I want to let our audience know that Trauma Research Foundation is working closely with Shakespeare's Fall Festival program at Shakespeare and Company, and we intend to go forward with you and keep supporting your program in um, any way we can, in, yeah. in every way that we can. Oh, um, thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. We're so grateful. To okay, be but I'm thinking, if my parents had taken this program when they were in high school, we would have a different family. <laughs> yeah, but a, but a preparation for <laughs> people who someday go to have a family to to know this joy, know this pleasure, to know the flexibility. It's like it's so great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Bessel. Thank you, Leisha. Thank you all, all that joined watching this. I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm really grateful to Patrick who made a beautiful yeah. film and I thought really yes. captured yeah. the festival. I'm so, so grateful. Kevin, just one thing. I'm going to be at the festival this weekend live with you guys. And may I have permission to, to share some photographs from the festival maybe? in a blog just as a follow-up to this absolutely okay. absolutely okay. yes 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 okay yes. <laughs> thank you thank you everyone okay. and have a great hey, night fantastic thank, thank you. you so much thank you bye-bye yeah.